This is Top 30. Coming up, the country is honoring former President George H.W. Bush. There's a new type of installment plan just in time for the holidays. And finally, a Christmas tree for cat owners. Hi there, welcome to the show. I'm Kristen Smith, and here are 30 things you need to know right now. There's something about getting a great deal that just makes you feel so good. And with December being one of the busiest shopping months of the year, here's what you should be buying. Gift cards are a simple gift to give to almost anyone, and usually in December, you can find them at a discount. For example, iTunes typically puts their $100 gift cards on sale for $85 in the weeks leading up to the holidays. And if you need gifts for kids, the first two weeks of December are notoriously known for having the best deals on toys. After all, you don't want to end up being that parent searching high and low for the toy your kid has their heart set on, but you just didn't buy in time. TVs are always a big ticket item on Black Friday, but if you miss the opportunity, don't worry. A lot of retailers continue to slash the prices on flat screens into December. If you happen to need a new car, now is the time. A lot of dealerships are trying to get rid of their leftover 2018 inventory to make room for all the new 2019 models, so you can usually find some really great deals. And one last word of advice on what experts say you should hold out on. High-end electronics and exercise equipment tend to drop in price after the holidays, so wait until January if you can. Now let's go to the New York Stock Exchange for our Fox Business Minute with Jerry Willis. Jerry, we're learning more about the Marriott hack. Hey, Kristen. Cybersecurity experts say that Marriott dropped the ball in detecting a huge data breach, while Marriott says that it responded quickly when it learned of a colossal theft of consumer data. Specialists say that the company missed a shot at halting the breach several years earlier. Marriott said the hack of its reservation database of its Starwood properties began in 2014 and went undetected until this September. The hack involved the personal data of up to 500 million customers. Amazon wants to expand its cashless checkout technology. The company is testing its tech for bigger stores. Now, if successful, that would be a big challenge to brick and mortar retailers. No word yet on whether Amazon will add the technology to Whole Foods. And U.S. financial markets will be closed Wednesday to commemorate the National Day of Mourning for the passing of President George H.W. Bush. The New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, and the Chicago Merck will all close. The 41st president died on Friday at the age of 94. When was the last time the markets closed after a presidential death? The last time the markets closed was in 2007, following the death of President Ford. All right, good to know. Thanks, Jerry. Time now for the New York Minute with Rosanna Scotto from Fox 5 New York. Rosanna, he liked it, so he put a ring on it, but then things didn't go as planned. Beyonce could not have sang about what happened next. Let me tell you. So the NYPD's emergency service unit had a very unique rescue this weekend, a lost diamond ring. So surveillance video from Times Square on Friday night shows this man on his belly looking down this utility grate. We later learn it's this couple from England and just about an hour before they were in Central Park and he proposed to her but as they were walking the ring fell off her finger now they asked officers for help they couldn't retrieve it the couple left town they went back across the pond without their ring but guess what the NYPD went back, they found it, and then they had to find this couple. They didn't know who they were. They left without giving their name. Oh, so they went on Twitter, they realized who they were, and they're now bringing the ring across the pond. Uh, hopefully, they will have exterminated it, because you can only imagine what's underground <laughs> that was surrounding this gorgeous sparkler. Yeah, and it's a beautiful ring, too. All right, so let's move on. I know New Yorkers are celebrating Hanukkah in a big way. You know, we do everything big here, and we have the Guinness World Record to prove it. We have the world's largest menorah right here wow. in Midtown Manhattan. This menorah is 32 feet tall and weighs 4,000 pounds. It's a beautiful metal structure that was designed by an Israeli artist. This year especially, it takes on new meaning. Uh, when faced with darkness and hatred, the light of the menorah serves as a symbol of strength and inspiration, democracy and freedom for all people. That is from Rabbi Bootman, who presided over the ceremony. And I think we all should just embrace that light right now in this time where we're kind of rushing around and yeah. forget what the true meaning of the holidays is all about. Yeah, so absolutely gorgeous and an even, even more powerful message. Thanks, Rosanna.
All right, moving on. The CDC is warning of an exotic tick that is spreading across the United States, dangerous to both humans and animals. The Asian longhorn tick is known to carry a variety of pathogens, causing the CDC to show concern. These nine states have reported finding one of those ticks, which, by the way, can live up to a year without feeding. The CDC recommends using Environmental Protection Agency registered insect repellents to stay safe. And in a desperate bid to save quarterback Aaron Rodgers, the Green Bay Packers fired their longtime head coach, Mike McCarthy. After 13 seasons with the team, McCarthy was let go just hours after an embarrassing loss to the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday. It marks the first time in the Packers' nearly 100-year history that they've ever fired a head coach mid-season. And finally, the teddy bear toss is one of the best holiday traditions in minor league hockey, and this year didn't disappoint. The Hershey Bears made hockey history, collecting 34,798 stuffed bears that'll be donated to more than 30 local organizations, including schools, food banks, churches, and children's clubs. Well, for nearly 20 years, he's fought mutants as Wolverine. In the front runner, he battles political scandal. Now Hugh Jackman is ready to take on his next challenge. The Australian actor who got his start in theater has announced the man, the music, the show. A worldwide arena tour to kick off next May in Hamburg, Germany. Speaking about the show, which will feature a 26-piece live orchestra, Jackman said, this is a big dream come true for me. I'm singing, I'm dancing, I'm telling stories. I'm just gonna have a party. Among others, the show will feature hits from Les Miserables, his Tony-winning turn in The Boy From Oz, and The Greatest Showman. This S. Jackman's P.T. Barnum-inspired film has become one of the highest-grossing movie musicals of all time, with a soundtrack that ranks as 2018's best-selling album. Tickets for much of the tour go on sale December 7th. And now let's go to Danielle Knox from Fox 35 Orlando. She has what you need to know today. So, Danielle, I hear one of our favorite treats has released its special holiday flavors. Well, Kristen, I'm smiling because Krispy Kreme Donuts, their holiday donuts, are back. This year's selection includes a donut and inspired by ugly Christmas sweaters, and the Santa Belly Donut also making its return this year. Duly noted. Well, new parents may want to consider some extra tummy time if your baby is having a tough time sleeping at night. Michigan State University research suggests babies who are less active get less sleep. Now, we do know that physical activity and sleep influence each other and are strongly associated with growth in older children and adults. Researchers say while we don't have evidence yet that tummy time directly affects sleep, it increases physical activity and promotes healthy weight gain. Well, if your cat destroys your Christmas tree every single year, now there is a solution. There's a European company out there, it's called Argos. They are selling six foot half parasol trees this year. It's just like your average artificial tree, as you can see right there. But as you can also see, it's just missing the bottom half of its branches. This tree is going to run you about 43 bucks. But my question is, shouldn't it be half price or I'm not quite sure? But that's what you need to know. Now, here's the thing, Kristen. I don't have a cat, so this does not apply to me. What about you? Yeah, I don't have cats either, but that tree is still pretty hilarious. Thanks, Danielle. Still ahead, she was on The Voice. Now Janice Freeman is here in studio sharing her inspiring story. And Kate Middleton's mom is speaking out for the first time ever. Don't go anywhere. Top 30 will be right back after these messages from our sponsors. Conair's 2-in-1 Stainless Styler has it all. Perfectly aligned plates to straighten. Stainless steel barrel to curl. One styler, two styles. Welcome back to Top 30. You've heard of installment plans to pay for pricey items like a new car. What about a t-shirt? A growing number of finance apps like Afterpay and Affirm let consumers make installment payments on smaller purchases. That's according to a new Bloomberg report. Afterpay now works with fashion brands like Urban Outfitters, Anthropology, and Free People. Afterpay's average order is about 130 bucks. Affirm works with over 1,300 merchants, including travel site Expedia and Casper Mattresses. They 
issued $1 billion in loans in 2017. They expect that figure to double this year. Consumers can apply online or in a mobile app. They learn whether they've been approved in seconds. The companies say they use artificial intelligence to determine how likely an applicant is to pay back their loan, even studying how fast they type. The services are mostly aimed at millennials who have fewer credit cards than older generations. But the apps have also been criticized by some consumer groups who say they encourage impulse spending. All right, time now for our Royal Watch with our Royal commentator, Victoria Arbiter. Hi, Victoria. Good to be with you, Kristen. Well, Kate Middleton's mom has spoken out for the first time ever, is that right? Yes, the Duchess of Cambridge's mother, Carol Middleton, has given her first ever interview. Almost eight years after her daughter's entry into royal life, Carol spoke with Britain's Telegraph newspaper about the success of Party Pieces, the family business now celebrating its 30th anniversary. And while she was cautious about discussing the royals, she did reveal that George and Charlotte will have their very own Christmas trees in their rooms at her home in Bucklebury. And that following church and a lunch of smoked salmon and champagne, the family's Christmas dinner Dinner will include a vegan option this year as Carol recently adopted the diet. I just love all the inside royal tidbits you give us, Victoria. And I keep thinking, imagine your daughter marrying a prince. It makes sense why she waited a while to open up about that. And speaking of, what's the latest with Prince William and Kate? The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were in Leicester last Wednesday, and they were there to pay their respects to those who tragically lost their lives in a helicopter crash at Leicester City Football Club's King Power Stadium on October 27th. The couple were friends with the club's chairman, who sadly also lost his life, and so they wanted to pay their respects to him and the people of Leicester. And they also took time to view the sea of flowers left by club supporters. Definitely a meaningful trip. Victoria, thank you so much. And we'll see you next week. Thanks, Kristen. Moving right along now, a man in the Philadelphia area is going the extra mile to raise money for college scholarships. And Mike Jarek from Fox 29 in Philly joins us to tell us all about it. Hi, Mike. Kristen, his name is Paul Peters. Now, he is a ultra marathoner. He runs all the time, but normally outside. This is a way to make money for scholarships for a local college here in the Philadelphia area. It's called Manor College has the largest diversity enrollment in the area and it's an affordable education and gives opportunity to a lot of first generation college students and college students that would struggle to get the education otherwise. So what he did was this. He got on a treadmill. He had to pay money to sponsor him. He gets on this treadmill for 12 straight hours, 7 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock in the evening. 12 hours, wow. So Mike, how many miles did he run and how much money did he raise? A total of 61 miles, but he made over $5,000. How about that? That's incredible, thanks Mike. Well, this is a great time of year to enhance your workout and really make it count, which is why we have today's top 30 steal, a Stry Fusion Bio2 smartwatch and activity tracker at a special 71% discount. This is a fitness tracker and a smartwatch all in one. It tracks your steps, distance walked, calories burned, diet, daily habits, medication, hydration, weight, and more. Plus, it monitors your heart rate and your sleep. And it allows you to always stay connected, even when your phone is out of reach. The reminders and alarms also so really help you stay on top of your busy schedule. It's sweat proof and you get three swappable color bands. The Strive Fusion Bio2 smartwatch and activity tracker retails for as much as $100. But today you can buy it for just 29 bucks. That's a 71% discount. And you can get this right now at morningsave.com while they last. Stay with us. We have more things you need to know right after this. Welcome back to Top 30. America first got to know our next guest on the singing competition, The Voice. Since then, she continues to inspire others with her soulful voice and story of resilience. Joining us today is Janice Freeman. Janice, I am so happy to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, we have a lot to talk about, okay? But before we get to it, I wanted to show everyone a clip because I had the pleasure of hosting a charity event where Janice, you performed, and it was such a powerful performance. So take a look. Well, that event was to honor fashion icon Cursida Rodriguez, who lost her battle to stomach cancer. And yeah. Janice, I know you're a cancer survivor. That's right. And now you're facing a battle of a different kind. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, I have SLE lupus, but it attacks everything. So I'm always in pain everywhere. So that's my battle right now. But 
I'm here. You're you know, here. I'm here and what, I'm surviving it. Of course you are and thriving also. Yes, and absolutely. what what is the just to give everyone an idea of what your everyday is like, what's the treatment like for that? I do an IV treatment. Um, they just put a port in um, because my veins, they kept collapsing, blowing, growing. Every day is just like a new day and you just gotta get through that day. Yeah. yeah. If anyone's seen you perform, and I've seen you perform several times, it's like you put everything you have into every word of every song. Yes. How can you do that physically, but how? what's it like when you're singing? I'm free when I sing. Yeah. You know, it's, it's almost as if I don't feel it. I don't feel it, but I do feel all of it because that's my life and everything that I go through and I know that I'm probably gonna face is the very key to why people and myself can feel every word that I say. I know you have a new album coming out. You've yes. been working so hard on this album. What can we all expect? Everything is in the works and hopefully beginning of the next year we'll have an album. There's a woman watching right now going through adversity. We all have our own battles. What message do you have for her? You can do it. There's things in this world that only you can make a difference in. So be that difference so we can change the world one person at a time. Janice, I love you. Thank you so much. And don't forget to look out for Janice Freeman's new album coming out early next year. Well, there's another app to tell you how to get where you're going, but this one doesn't want you to drive. Cowlines creates your route using other options like trains, bike share, or buses, as well as ride sharing apps like Lyft and Uber. You can select the fastest route, the cheapest route, or the route with the fewest greenhouse gas emissions. That's because the goal is travel that's more environmentally friendly. The app's name comes from an urban planning term, referring to the fact that cows in a field always pick the most efficient path home. The co-owner of the company who made the app says, we're trying to get people in a clever, smart way out of cars, plain and simple. You can also combine modes of transportation within one route, which the company claims will get you there up to 50% quicker than Google Maps. Cowlines launched in Canada. The app is now available in dozens of U.S. cities as well. In today's Hometown Stories from Fox 4 Dallas, every Monday, a group of women at the Meadowstone Place Retirement Center gather to sew, crochet, and knit for the community. Fittingly, they call their group Pins and Needles. The ladies create a variety of items like red scarves for veterans, hats for newborn babies, and handmade teddy bears that are given to Dallas police officers to comfort kids at crime scenes. And one member says it's important to lend a helping hand when possible. It's the whole value of life. If we can't help each other, other and love each other in life, life loses its meaning. And in our final story from Fox 2 Detroit, 98-year-old Dorothy Smith lives at Beaumont Commons in Dearborn, Michigan. She's also a World War II veteran. Dorothy received her nursing degree in 1942 and joined the Air Force shortly thereafter. She became a nurse at the Rapid City Army Air Base in South Dakota and treated servicemen who contracted meningitis. And to top it all off, she met her future husband, Floyd Smith, at the Officers Club on the base. Her advice to the younger generation is to do what you want and enjoy it. Okay, so this next one's kind of funny. Just before Thanksgiving, one woman took to Twitter to help her find the best friend she made on a family vacation when she was just a little girl. And Twitter, of course, helped reunite the girls after losing touch for years. But there was another young woman who wasn't shy to poke a little fun at Twitter's helpful nature. 27-year-old Balu Babalola tweeted out a photoshopped picture of herself and famed actor Michael B. Jordan as a spoof to the vacation bestie's success. She solicited Twitter's help to find Jordan, who she jokingly said she shared a romantic interest with last summer. But here's the twist. It actually did go viral, and she actually did meet him. Babalola attended a Creed 2 Q&A where she told Jordan she was the reason he went viral recently. Well, I don't know if you know that he's gone viral recently because um, some weird girl photoshopped. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great story. And we have more Top 30 coming right up. Welcome back. Maybe it's just me, but I bet many of us wish we could get more done every day. And it turns out there's a scheduling trick that can help boost productivity. Cody Goff, host of the Curiosity Daily Podcast, is here with more. So, Cody, I hear some of the biggest names in business use this hack. That's right, Kristen. Some of the most productive people on the planet schedule their day in five-minute chunks. We're talking names like Bill Gates and Elon Musk. If you can be just as thorough about planning your time, then even you could get as much done as them. Filling every moment of your calendar pushes you to make tough calls about what to prioritize and leaves you feeling more in control of your time. But there are trade-offs with rigorous scheduling. 
The first danger is to your relationships. Elon Musk once said that he had to sacrifice a lot of family time with his kids because of rigorous scheduling. The second danger is that short-term productivity can come at the cost of less big picture thinking. That's why Bill Gates used to take what he called think weeks to get away from his manic schedule at Microsoft and consider long-term trends. Here's the bottom line. Scheduling your days more rigorously will help you get more done, but the best approach is the one that best suits your particular needs. Kristen? All right, good advice. Thanks, Cody. You can check out more on curiosity.com. Thanks for watching. You can catch up on past episodes of Top 30 now on Hulu. You can also download the Top 30 mobile app and visit our website. We want to hear from you, so connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Like, follow, and subscribe to at Top 30 TV for interviews and exclusive web content. We'll see you next time on Top 30.